Hello everyone. I know I don't normally make videos where I just sit down in front of a camera and talk to you guys about stuff. But I honestly feel like this needs to be brought up now. This can't wait anymore. This situation is re in regards to the Telta Tenorio delays in the past week. I know everyone is angry over these delays. Like, we've had two in the past week, which is quite a lot for the past week. You know, two chances at a release, and they've both been delayed. But these delays are for reasons that the devs can't even control. The first reason was for Roblox Studio bugs that are generated from Roblox Studio. The devs have no control over this. You'd have to rewrite entire scripts to find out what the problem was. And it is a lot of work. It takes hours. And then the second reason, the lead dev and script to Utopia was hospitalised. Not yesterday, but the day before. That night. I find it disgusting that you think it's okay to send death threats and dox threats to these amazing people that are putting in so much work to make a game that they want the community to love. The entire creature catcher community. I find it absolutely disgusting that people think that is okay. Why? These people are absolutely amazing. They're so lovely and nice. And they only want the best for the community. I find you people that send death threats and dox threats to developers who haven't have no control over these situations. Even people like Kyle Allen Music who release their music on time. You you absolutely disgust me. And I find it terrible that you need one of the first Tales to Mario Partner program content creators and a 13 year old to tell you this. You guys are probably way older than me. You should be way more mature. But no, you're over here sending death threats and dox threats to developers who are still in education over delays of a Roblox game. You need a better reason than that. And it's not even okay in any way. It's a Roblox game being delayed, for God's sake. Honestly, you guys are just absolutely disgust me. I had people come into my chat yesterday and said homophobic and racial slurs because they were annoyed about the game being delayed that is just disgusting that you guys think that is okay to actually do it is a public chat i try to be as family friendly as possible and you guys are just disgusting i know i'm saying disgusting a lot but i i am truly disgusted in every single one i use like Every single one of these devs are absolutely amazing people. That includes Lucky. They are so, they are so, so nice. And they try to satisfy everyone in the community. It is ridiculous that you guys think it's okay to just go out and do this. Because of a few problems that came up. That caused the game to be delayed. Because of things I can't control. Utopia overworked himself. On the first release day. He told everyone that he hasn't slept in three days that's dedication Bia took off a week from college because they, they wanted to finish this game lucky has taken days of school to finish this game or work on it it's ridiculous that you think it's okay to do this even just to people that aren't in education anymore any of the devs it's it's horrible i I'm really disappointed in the Tales of Tenorio community right now. And when I see that, say that, I mean everyone who's ever said something bad about the devs since the delays. Honestly, it's just disgusting. Thank you to everyone who has said kind messages to the developers. I appreciate all of you. I really want to help out in a way. If any of the devs are watching this, please contact Lucky or someone. I want to help. Other than the partner program, obviously. Like, you guys are amazing people, but you guys screw yourselves over by doing this stuff. It is horrible to see. Horrible to read. Horrible to see any of this. And it's just... Why? Why? What is your reason for this? I, 
I want a reason. I want a proper reason. And not just because, oh, they delayed the game because of reasons that we think are faked. This isn't stuff that they would joke about, okay? The bugs were legit. Someone being taken to hospital and being hospitalised is would be a horrible joke and it would screw over the game's reputation completely. It would be risky to even make that a joke in any case. Like, it's just horrible. This is real things. People actually get hospitalised randomly and there's no control over it in any way. It's horrible that you guys think this is faked. I'm honestly just disappointed in all of you.